YouTube, what's going on? Now we finally made it to the first checkpoint in Act 3. Couldn't tell you how many times I've run this, but it could be over 100. We finally got it down. Did it solo. Now, title of this video will be how to make it to the first checkpoint in Act 3 on Nightmare. Solo. Highly recommend to not go in solo. Now, if you don't have anybody, you know, randoms just aren't doing it for you. You know, you can do it solo, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be, whew, good lord it is. RNG Central, it's all about luck, and uh, there's more than a few things that you're going to have to do in this that uh, more than likely you're not going to be proud of when it comes to the cheesing, but the whole thing's going to be about mobility. We've got a long gameplay guide to go through, so we're going to make this short and sweet. We're only going to need the first eight cards in this deck, everything else in the deck. Still got to work on that for the rest of Act 3, but... We've got it for you, and if you'd like to copy and paste this, I'll put it down in the description in order by name. But we start off with Run Like Hell. We're going to need that movement speed, especially if you're solo. 15% movement speed, cross trainers right after that. Essentially, we'll have the first four cards in this list to start off with on the first mission. First mission should be fairly easy. But let's get back into the cards. Mad Dash, you're going to want that sprint speed. It's going to come in handy along each one of these levels, especially getting away from some of those special infected making sure you can actually make it through. Now, Heavy Hitter this is a new contender inside of the, I guess, meta for running through Nightmare. Right now it's bugged. As you can see, melee hits against weak spots deal 20% or plus 20 additional stumble damage. Now, what this essentially does is causes your fists to one-shot all common infected. Not only that, but if you just uh, decide to punch one of those special infected in the weak spot, every single time it will stumble them. This will help you in the maze level. This will help you greatly from the beginning to the finish. Arguably, you could put it later. If you wanted more mobility in the beginning, if you're having trouble making it through, you could save this until the second or third level and arguably probably still do well. But this is going to be something that you'll absolutely need for the maze mission. And it's going to be, it's just going to make your life a lot easier. But right after that, superior cardi cardio, we're going to get that sprint efficiency since we already lost some from the Mad Dash. Next level on, energy drink. We want that stamina as high as we can. Now, this is for the maze level. You will need numb for this. You want that 15% damage resistance. We're already taking some uh, damage resistance off right here. You're always going to be carrying pain pills. That's going to be your number one remedy unless you got bots that are able to heal you. But they are really unreliable a lot of times. I can't stress it enough. The amount of times they haven't healed me or I've went down and they just look at me and let me die and then die on their own. Unreal. But right after that Olympic Sprinter, we're just maximizing that sprint efficiency and we're going to need that for the last mission. All right, let's cut this short and sweet, getting straight into the gameplay. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we'll start off in the first mission of Act 3. What we're going to need is a toolkit pipe bomb and some pain meds we're going to do this as quick as possible i mean i've run this so many times i'm just running through if there's any solid attachments especially like that uh holographic sight right there where you get a little bit of movement speed while aiming and firing be sure to pick that up because we're going to be using this weapon for the most part on this little barn house always going to be one of those sleepers on the left sometimes there's special infected off in the corner as well could be a hawker waiting for you any number of things <clears throat> but once we get up to this moment We'll kind of take a breather and then we'll take out another sleeper on our left on the side of this little house. Like I said before, there's going to be some special infected more than likely, but we'll save that stamina right here. Pin him. Now there could be a breaker in this moment, a hag, any number of things. Not really going to worry about the birds we just disturbed, but on the side of this house, it's going to be another sleeper. You'll need to take that out. When going through the corn maze, we don't need the uh, toolkit for the uh, combine or whatever it is. We'll go straight in from that haystack. Run until we hit this. Sometimes you're going to run into a uh, snitch, birds, anything. Don't even worry about it. Just keep running. If there is a breaker, one thing to be noted is that if it starts at circle and you get inside or outside the barrier of that circle in a certain amount of time, you can complete the mission and survive inside of that swarm. It's just going to have a discoloration around you. won't really affect you. Not too often that I have a special infected right here. Generally, this isn't going to happen. You'll just get underneath here. It could be a sleeper on that left wall behind there and could be a sleeper on the left and right right here. This is where that pipe bomb comes in handy. And then we're going to use a toolkit right here so we can have a pretty much straight away all the way up to the uh, safe room. 
generally this door is going to be locked, so you're going to need to break it down, but occasionally it will be open. Good thing to check for that sometimes, but you'll notice it by the time you get close. Sometimes some birds on, on the right side, occasionally special infected as well. And we're going to utilize that, uh, boom, there goes that heavy hitter, knocked him back. We're able to take him down pretty quickly. Sometimes there's some birds on this path as well. There's some rocks on the right side that you'll be able to take in case you just don't want to alert those birds. But generally by this point, you're going to have a straightaway all the way in. Now we'll skip forward a bit. Second mission, same thing as the other one. What we're essentially going to use is a toolkit, pipe bomb, and the pain meds. Sometimes you won't use the pain meds or the pipe bomb, so you have a little extra cash. Grab up any, uh, if you can get magazine size, that's greatly going to uh, help you. Trust me. The 32 just doesn't uh, doesn't cut it sometimes. We'll just jump straight down here. Sometimes there's a bird on the right pass, so just kind of jump off to the left. Try to or try not to take too much fall damage. You can if you jump from certain ledges. Since we're moving so fast, it can project all us a bit further and get that fall damage. Not not something you want. But by this point, sometimes you'll have an ogre or breaker. It's all up to that RNG at this point. I was getting a, a bit of bad RNG. Generally, you want to stop here and kind of gain that stamina up. I think I do just a little bit, but you'll just kind of jump through here. Be careful of these branches falling down next to those explosive barrels. Sometimes they can fall down and cause an explosion of those barrels. I think we have a moment up here as well where there's three different barrels. can instantly just take you down to half health. That's why I kind of stopped here. I think it is about to happen. Yeah, boom. If you're caught in the middle of that, any speed run, I mean... That, that could be the thing that ruins the entire mission right there. We'll push forward here. Can't remember, sometimes you can shoot the alarm doors, birds, things around here, and it kind of despawns everything going forward. Essentially, you want to maximize your stamina right here. Best bet sometimes is to just kind of clear out some of this area, look around, see if there's anything on the tables. Could be uh, better attachments, could be some ammunition that could be necessary. As you'll notice, a lot of times this will be filled with common infected. You'll need to be able to take them out. But before, when we had the ogre, I think it spawns so much that there's not so much right here. But if you don't spawn anything back there, this is going to be filled with common infected. Kind of want to like take that out. Don't even know what hit me right here. It might have been the ogre just coming up out of the ground. One thing to note about the ogre, by the time you get to this point, try to make sure that you go down underneath here as quick as possible. Shoot around the door. You really don't want to set off that alarm. What we're going to do here, not exactly proud of, but I've run this so many times and this has been a troublesome mission right here. And we've already got five missions we got to go to before the next checkpoint, or at least three more after this one. And the last one, we already know Dr. Rogers is going to be a real pain, but we'll get underneath here and essentially that ogre will disappear. I guess it somehow just completes it. Thank God for that so it doesn't just climb over and completely ruin this run since we're already on the second mission. But what we'll do here with the toolkit, I was originally using the door on the left that's wood right now to kind of uh, gather some health, things of that nature. If you want to do this as legit as possible, you'll come in here, clear it out, hit one of the nodes, and then just run all the way back to the park. Kind of clear a bit, come back, hit another node, go all the way back to the park. But the success to failure rate with that, well, failure is it's, it's getting close to 60% of the time you're failing on that type of run. I went in with some randoms, and they started talking about using, um, what is it, the minigun on my right. So I started using this toolkit, and I've had a lot more success with this. Essentially, what you'll be able to do is use this uh, minigun on the bathroom on the left and put it in the doorway to where all special infected cannot make it through. Common infected will still be able to make it through, and as you'll notice, heavy hitter is coming in handy right here. We're not wasting a lot of ammo, we're not taking too much damage, and we're just one-shotting through those common infected hordes. Now you do want the bots somewhat alive for this. Uh, you could make it with at least one bot. Like I said before, you're arguably going to want other people with you on this mission, or at least all of these missions. It's just going to make it a lot easier. Clear out as much of the special infected as you can, because what we're going to do is just make our way over to that second bathroom, have everything cleared out, and you obviously don't want any special infected messing with you when you're trying to place this minigun if you place it in the exact wrong spot or not in the exact spot that you need it it's not going to work how intended could be a failed run it's just one of those things but now i've cleared out the bathroom sometimes there's some common infected in that bathroom you will need to clear it out i've gotten hit by many of them multiple times because i 
just not paying attention. I've run it so much. I'm just frustrated at that point. But you'll notice just kind of right here, back it up a little bit, make sure it's on top of that little grate right there. Place it down. You can move it, move through the left side and I'll show you what you need to do now. Particularly, I don't do this a lot. I'm not a big fan of using strats like this, but with how much trouble this has been, this has been a godsend. This has helped me greatly. This mission has literally stopped me from going all the way to T5 all the time. I mean, the cabin in the woods and the maze mission, trust me, they are so much easier than this moment right here, especially when you got spitters, hawkers, the special infected can spawn at a crazy rate for whatever reason. I mean, I've even made it to this location. And every one special infect that I killed, there was another one coming right around the corner, a crusher, another stalker, more wretches. I, I don't know what the nightmare AI director is doing half the time, but it can be overkill when it comes to doing this. But like I said before, if you want to do it legit, just hit the node, run all the way back underneath, out, and go back to the park, grab up some supplies. Sometimes there's some healing things out there that can help you sustain life, but... Trust me, that's going to take a lot longer, and the simple fact that you could fail in the next mission, the mission after that, or just get all the way to T5 and fail both continues. It's frustrating. I've even had it happen myself, so save yourself some trouble. Use this tactic. Even if you're not a big fan of doing things like this, it's going to be a big help. Trust me. It's just getting past this mission and making it all the way to T5 to fail instead of just constantly failing on this mission, just trying to get through. It's going to be a big help. But essentially, we're going to skip through right here. This is just all we're going to do. One thing to note, you, for whatever reason, can punch through the wall. It, even the aim assist will track them through the wall, and you'll just be able to hit them right there. All the common infected, so say two people are just standing there, just constant meleeing. You can take out all the common infected, even juggle one of the special infected right there. That could arguably be a strat if you had multiple people using the same build, but... Another one of those moments where spitters, nightmare creatures. We'll skip forward. Essentially the same thing. As you'll notice, all the special infected are just getting stuck right there. No worries. Just unloading on them. If you got a bot with you, unlimited ammo right there. Just keep it rolling. The spitter almost got me. I mean, I'm at 25 right now. They do a lot of damage. Bane of my existence inside of this, that, and hawkers. Stalkers I can deal with, but hawkers and stingers... They got to get some nerfs coming soon. We'll skip forward. This mission, it's fairly easy. The one hard part about this is just finding the battery for the gate. That is the only hard part about this mission. And we're doing similar strat. We need a toolkit, pipe bomb, pain meds. All we need, any attachments that may be benefiting us. I didn't go for the weak spot damage on this one because I just wanted that mobility. I still wanted the ability to ADS and have that added mobility. Sometimes the weak spot damage isn't worth it when it comes to lowering your ADS speed or ADS move speed. But essentially, we'll just book it out straight away. Get straight to this boat. Maybe you didn't know this, but if you use a toolkit on this little conveyor right here, it makes it go a lot faster and less likely to... It'll make it all the way to the finish. If you've ever been on this before and it just broke somewhere in the middle, I don't know if it's the common infected, the special infected that could possibly be destroying it, or if there's even a health bar with it, but every time I use a toolkit on this, it generally makes it all the way over there, and it's just a big help. And you can notice it's not exactly the fastest thing, but it's a lot faster than it would have been if you just started it up. <clears throat> and generally, you'll have to be... Uh, you know, just fighting a lot more. Sometimes there can be some hawkers, spitters. Take those out as quick as possible. You don't want any of those problems. And if there's exploders, especially I've had them run completely ruined by an exploder just running up on me on that thing and blowing me up, but all the bots survived for whatever reason, but insta-killed me. Who knows what happened. But if there's birds in front of this door, generally I always go to the left of this. I had a bird corruption card here, so there's a lot more birds. We'll just run around them, go straight in. Right about this point, we'll kind of stop, get a little bit of stamina back. I think I had two different sets of birds right here. So I just slowly move through. And this is the hardest, hardest part of the mission, is just finding the battery. Just one of these houses, I mean, I've had several times where I got to this mission, and I'm, I'm just looking through all these houses. You know, arguably, you could throw a pipe bomb right here, but there's so many birds, alarm doors, things of that nature. You might want to save it. 
try to clear out as you go. Just quickly open up these doors as fast as possible. And I've had a couple of runs where first house I went into, boom, found the battery. Let's go. Another exciting moment. Just zoom through this mission. We'll skip forward a bit. You'll notice, essentially, the first building I went into, the battery was on in that one. But you'll notice this this building on the left, building on the right. Things go things can go pear shaped just trying to find this battery. That's the number one most difficult thing about this. You just don't know where this battery is. It could be in any one of these houses, any one of these rooms. Sometimes you'll overlook it. I mean, it's it's not exactly an icon, but after a certain period of time, it will show it up. It, it'll give you an icon to show where it is. So if you if you're frantically looking around, don't know what's going on don't know where it is, you're just looking through every building and you just can't seem to find it. It will show up at some point, but you really don't want to kind of stick around for all those special infected to continue to come. Possible horde coming. Depends on your corruption card. Sometimes there's an ogre here. You know, it can get very problematic, but on the, that one building right over there, I think here coming up, boom, you'll see there's that battery icon. I'm still looking around. I haven't, I haven't even noticed that the battery icon has showed up. I'm completely oblivious at this moment, and then I notice it right there. Now, from this point, we're essentially just going to be booking it all the way in. <clears throat> this is going to be easy as cakewalk. We have all the stamina we need with all the speed that we can possibly need. And now, one thing to note. As soon as we get to this point, we kind of slow down a second and then just book it and kind of get a little bit of that uh, stamina back just to make sure that we can make it all the way to the door. There's going to generally be a lot of reekers, wretches, exploders at the top of this thing. So you really just want to speed all the way in there right there. Now, from this point, I did have a continue. I did mess up on the maze mission. Frustrating, very frustrating. But we'll go right here. Now, good idea, there's sometimes special infected waiting on you outside the door, but before you open the door, kind of shoot out some of the common infected, try to pull them in, get rid of them as quick as possible, because what we're going to do is just straight away speed, and we do want, uh, we don't need a toolkit for this one, we need the stun gun, and obviously pipe bomb and pain meds. Now, by this point, we're going to utilize those pain meds to the maximum, is, uh, what is it, because <clears throat> we're using numb. And we got that 15% damage resistance from it, which we'll need inside of the maze. You're going to take some damage in the maze. It's going to be hectic. Now, I wish I could tell you an exact route through the maze, but right here, we just run all the way until we get up to those metal uh, railings at the top inside of this. I, I guess it's a greenhouse. Sometimes there's some special infected waiting for you, but just head all the way up. Make sure to clear out some sleepers. There's generally one or two. I somehow just was able to move past that without a triggering it sometimes the game bugs i guess but from this point it's very easy you'll be able to hold down these two stairwells a lot of special infected normally special infected should only be able to get up on top of these uh metal railings or metal walkways through those stairwells i think in this mission i did end up having an exploder randomly up there i, I don't know if it's just the ai spawning it don't know what exactly happened, but it just came out of nowhere. Luckily, it didn't finish me off, but that's one thing to look for at certain times. But generally, you're just going to be taking out the common infected as they're coming up the the uh, stairwells and taking out any special infected as quickly as possible before they even make it up to the top. I've had missions where there's a hag in this, and it can be problematic. He can start chasing you. One mission I definitely had, one of the AI aggro him and he just kept chasing us around this whole top one and it just became giant nightmare it ended up being a ruined run because of it but generally you won't have that and even if you do have a hag i've had it on a couple of other ones where it wasn't even a bother it just ran around downstairs or even came upstairs went stop in certain locations kind of look around there was the uh exploder it was this run don't know how he got up there he clearly didn't come up one of the stairwells but somehow was able to just come across we'll take out all the common infected and arguably this is this is one of the more fun missions it's 
kind of like the uh, jukebox in a way. You're just able to hold it down. You know, it feels like what you would expect Nightmare to be. You know, we just have a power play position on this one. We're able to just clear everything out. We're able to funnel it. And just do it the proper way of just clearing things, finishing everything off, and then moving forward. But by the time we get to the, uh, the final node, what we're going to do is we're not going to take on the horde that comes with that one. We're just going to blow up the final node and then just push on through. And I mean, you're going to be moving quick through this maze. You're going to want to be moving quick. The heavy hitter is going to really help you out with the common infected. You'll be hitting them. Sometimes you'll be face checking some special infected. Heavy hitter is going to come in handy right there as well. But before you hit that final node, make sure you take out all special infected. You don't want any of these be becoming a problem coming up soon, considering we're, we're one mission away from the final one, the T5, the Dr. Rogers neighborhood. If you've already played that one, you already know how problematic that mission's going to be, and we got to get 12 boxes. And I did it by myself. It's going to be a lot easier with other people, but as you'll notice, boom, that, that increased magazine right there came in came in clutch we we're able to finish it off in one run sometimes there's some birds in the way you'll just need to hit some of these and then just move on through this is where those pain mids are going to come in handy this is where that heavy hitter is going to come in handy and sometimes you're going to take the wrong path pipe bomb's going to come in handy here as well we haven't taken too much damage sometimes you'll essentially you know be able to clear out with some of those pipe or with the one pipe bomb if you have more than one if you're you know, got a team rolling with you. This could be a lot easier. You could distract a lot of them with just having more pipe bombs, being able to throw those out, throw everything off you. But I essentially had a moment where a little bit of a lull was able to take out this uh, hawker. Holly obviously doesn't doesn't even mind that it's there because, boom, she just gets hit by it. Great bots, you know. But you're going to need them pushing on through here. It's just meat shields, just something to distract the special infected. As you just run by them, you'll just melee them in the face and then just keep moving as fast as you can. If you've been through this more than a few times, I've been through it more than a few times. So occasionally you'll start to memorize some of the different patterns. I got unlucky right here. I thought this would have been the end of the run because I alerted the birds. I didn't even think about it right there. But sometimes it's a big help. Sometimes there's birds already in the way. Boom, just, I got lucky right here. I'm just flying. I mean, you, you just, you talk about adrenaline pump, that's it. But that, as soon as you find that straight away and you know you're on that right wall, that one I know for a fact is always permanent. Once you're on that right wall right there, go straight in, go left, and then take that right, right, left, and you'll be straight up to the staircase going up. Always remember there could be two sleepers up there as well. You want to get that done as quick as possible. Now here we are on the mission that is going to be the most painful mission. I don't know how many times I've made it to this, and I, I mean, I've gotten one shot when as soon as I got here, I've had the ability to have two continues on this, or at least the one continue, so two tries at it. We'll get that sprint efficiency. It's going to come in clutch, and I will say in this match I did get lucky. There were supposed to be hawkers, but you'll notice throughout this gameplay footage, Hawkers do not spawn for whatever reason. Hawkers may have completely destroyed this run for me, but they did not spawn. Now, the biggest thing about this, uh, I only bought up three pipe bombs. I had a good bit of cash. I was able to heal up to maximum. But the number one thing you want to buy, pain meds. Pain meds over and over and over and over and over and over again. Not only are we getting that 15% damage resistance from that temporary health, but it is the cheapest and quickest way to get health back. Now, we're going to skip forward here because I buy a lot. I, I buy out the whole store, man. I, I've got those three pipe bombs, and I'm good. I'm like, yeah, that's all I need. I just need these pain meds to sustain my life through this for any hits that I'm going to be taking. Now, we'll go forward. Now, one thing to note, to drop these pain meds in, sometimes there's some copper laying around, so you may get to buy some extra, but you'll just kind of come close to that edge, drop them off. Now, be sure not to fall off. I don't think I ever ended up needing this grenade, but that was an added benefit, just finding it laying in there. Sometimes you'll find some stuff in there. Good idea to look around before jumping in. But this is going to be, uh, 
you know, it's a long process right here where I'm just going, going back, going back, going back. Oh my God. But so worth it. Trust me. So worth it. You're going to want it. You're going to need it. And I leave all this stuff right here. I don't even move it to the front door because the front door is going to be chaotic. You don't want to be at that front door. There's going to be special infected in the house, outside the house. It's just a choke point. And if you're looking down, stopping right there, the ogre could hit you with this little meat blob. Any number of things could go wrong with that. So this is that one area of the map where I don't normally see common infected spawning on it. Normally special infected aren't on it. It's a good distance away. It's got some cover for you as well from the meat blobs the ogre may throw. It's just going to help you out a lot. I sat up, got ready for this. Now, good idea to look around, grab some ammo, possibly some jerry cans. I think I, I placed a few of them strategically around the pass because we're essentially going to be running around the house. Now, we're not essentially always going to be running around the house, but we're going to utilize the outside of the house a lot of times. We're going to jump through windows that they break through. We're going to utilize the exit-only doors. And lucky enough, I did find some barbed wire. You could arguably upgrade barbed wire before this point. Have that ready. If you got a team stacked with you, that could be a good strat to have somebody available to pull off something like that as well. Could be beneficial to you, but for me, this is this is a surefire strat. And I start strategically placing some of these jerry cans, explosive barrels. You're going to need these to kind of lighten the horde that's behind you. Kind of explode these as you're running around to kind of give yourself some breathing room, give yourself, uh, you know, a little bit less common infected roaming around everywhere because there's going to be some stragglers that won't be tucked right behind you, but you'll notice in this gameplay footage there is more than a few moments where I look behind me and it is a big crowd right behind me. Um, you want to talk about some heart pumping action. Uh, yeah, this is that mission. Nightmare is all about luck and I hate it. But some of these moments, you know, they're, they're an adrenaline pump. And if you can finish them with success, ooh, it's a good feeling. But the rest of the time, the hours of putting into this, now first thing I do is go straight down to the bottom floor. Sometimes I check inside of this room. Sometimes these doors are locked. Luckily, there's nothing in there. You're not really going to utilize that room. You could try and use that as a circle tactic, but generally you're going to get trapped. And boom, straight away, that was the only stalker I saw that was trapping me. I left that box at the door because I was like, you know what? Well, we're not even going to deal with it right now. I start gathering up the boxes and start putting them next to this exit door. That way I just have to keep making this circle routine. I don't get trapped in any of these rooms. I don't have to keep looking around. I just make sure they're all in one location, especially at the beginning. The bottom floor can be a death trap for you. So you want to make sure you get all the boxes down there. And then just start utilizing this exit door and running straight in over the truck. Now, you're going to need to give yourself some breathing room. You don't want to run out of stamina all the time. I, I left that there. I was like, you know what? It's time to go get some pain meds. Pop those. Get that ready. And one good thing about the bots at this point, they will have inspiring sacrifice. So they will increase your health every time they're going down. So far, there's only one down right now. Able to go back down try to grab the rest. I'm kind of looking around, seeing if I just see any more of the boxes, but this is one of those moments where you're able to sit for a moment, get that stamina up, get ready to push on out. Now, don't go for that bench that's on. The, if you jump over that bench, you're not going to be able to make it over. It's going to slow you down. It's going to stop you. If you have any common infected right behind you, it's going to be one of those moments where it's going to, could be, could hit you. If you got a moment like that where special infected are just sitting there, utilize the window. We're, we're kind of just, uh, you know, going with the flow on this one. If you notice there's one one spot that's choked off, utilize another one. Move away from it. Generally, you don't want to go straight underneath the ogre. He could hit you. I got lucky in that moment. We got full health right now. I wasn't really sure if I needed to use that pipe bomb, but it felt like one of those moments just kind of get some of the common infected off me. Stalker doesn't seem to be able to catch up with me by this point, and I think it's because there's so many common infected behind me, tailing me, that it just doesn't even have the ability to jump forward and grab me. This could have, there could have been hawkers in there as well, but I have no idea. But right now, kind of trying to get some stamina up, getting ready to just jump on through. Now, this is one of those moments you notice him pull back. He's got that meat blob right now. That thing could arguably one-shot you. So you kind of want to do some strafe. You want to make sure there's some cover behind you, possibly, and then make your way over to that, drop it down. 
I grab another one of the pain mitts. We're making that circle routine. You notice, boom, that crowd's getting bigger behind me now. Not always are you going to use this little uh, routine right here. Once you see those windows back there are open and available, try to utilize those as well instead of just always going through the front door. Good thing to do. You, you notice there's not too much behind me right now. I should have been destroying some of those doors, but you'll see you got a couple of leeway moments. You, you notice one's clustered, time to utilize another one. Another route out. We've got another window right here. We're getting a little bit too clustered. We need to focus them behind us. Boom. We've got another one of those jerry cans just set up, ready to just clear out some of that so it just gives us enough time to be able to push back in. From this point, I start trying to utilize what we can do with uh, the ground floor, trying to get everything from the ground floor. Essentially, the biggest thing about this is you just want to keep moving. You want to just keep going as fast as you can. Now, we still have one that's at the front door, and we still have that one that's on the side of the truck. It's not just in yet. But as you notice, common infected, they're still coming. They're still growing. Now, arguably, this is, this is a little bit of a strat I had to just kind of turn back and shoot a little bit to kind of clear some of them out, give myself some breathing room to get some more stamina back up. But here's another one of those moments where they're coming from the back door right now. They're not in front. A couple of stragglers here and there, but they're generally right behind us. Another one of those pop the pain meds, grab one, keep it moving. Kind of got a little bit, but in this moment, I don't have unlimited ammo. And I do notice this. I start to notice this. And we still got those doors upstairs that we got to break through. So keep that in mind when you start turning around and shooting. You, you, you want to conserve enough ammo to be able to make it through those doors upstairs. Is one of those moments where that numb's coming in handy. You notice that that bruiser did slam down. We took a little bit of damage, but it was only a little bit. That 15% is coming in quite handy at this point. Really going to utilize that. Another one of those moments where you start utilizing some of the barrels. Get get rid of some of the common infected. I notice I'm getting a little bit low on the uh, temporary health, so pop that one. Go and grab another one of those. Use another barrel to explode. Give myself some breathing room since we already know that I'm kind of low on stamina right now, but notice how quick it's starting to go up. Angelo is going to be great for this, considering he's already got the 25% regen. And if you got Holly with you, you're just going to further increase your stamina ability by that point, by that 25. Just have another person with almost similar build. You could have two of you going at this rate. It's going to go a lot faster. Another one of those moments, start to utilize some of the jerry cans. Thought those windows were open, but had to jump across, make my way around. Another one of those jerry cans, I'm trying to flame them up. We go upstairs, and this is when we start trying to break down some of these doors. And I start hearing stuff behind me. I, you know, I'm worried. I'm like, you know, I don't want to get caught up here. I don't want to have to worry about getting hit by a special infected and then the whole common horde. But that's one of those windows that's always going to be open. You'll be able to utilize that at any time. Good uh, mental note right here that that's always available to you. Just go straight as soon as you go up the stairs, and then another left right there. Boom. You'd be able to get outside, make another route, go all the way around, pop some more of those pain meds, keep making the circle. We're coming right on back around. We're up to 7 out of 12 right now. We still generally have all of the ones. We have a lot of them upstairs that we haven't grabbed. I, I can't remember if there's more than one on the downstairs, but there's one next to the door right now. You're going to need to remind yourself where all of these are. Keep in keep on track of the rooms you've been through you notice started taking a little bit of damage right there i'm like all right we're, we're just going we're not worried about it I'm not taking too much health right now just jumping out the window I've already popped another pain meds you know i'll come back to that door finish it off later and then grab that box no need to sit there and completely destroy that door if you're getting hit from behind you need to just keep moving and another one of those blob moments found out you can go behind this Pretty good help right there. That's a lot of, you know, blockage right there and a good little route to go around to slow down those common infected, give them another route that's not inside the house and pull them all out of the house, focusing on you and moving through. You notice I have a little bit of breathing room right here. I grab this one up. You notice that by this point, you start seeing these little uh, magnifying glasses. I think it's because I've been in here so long that it's starting to show me like how the battery showed up after a certain amount of time. So that's one good thing to uh, look for because I, I didn't even notice that. And my heart's raising by this point. I'm like, we got to get this in. 
I'm worried about this tall boy trying to hit me. Luckily, that, that mad dash has given us the speed to outrun him as soon as he starts his charge. A lot of times, you'll generally get hit by that, but I timed it just perfectly right in that moment. Wasn't able to take too much damage. Thought it was getting a bit hectic. This could have been one of those moments that messed me up right there. But be sure to grab that uh, other pipe bomb. If you throw one, you still have something available. But you notice, I'm starting to see that there's these... Uh, magnifying glasses or oh, wait I haven't noticed it yet yeah definitely haven't noticed it yet but I grabbed this one and this was one of those ones at the uh, top stairs that you can always jump through as well jump down on these boxes you don't want to take that fall damage it's gonna be hugely beneficial got both of those in because I'm trying to count how many do I have left so I know there's one at the front door this could have been one of those moments Ooh. You know, I, I made a, a drastic decision to go through the front window when I should have went through the back end of the house. I, I made another drastic decision right here. I decided to jump from the second story window. You'll notice, boom, that's a lot of health taken right there. I'm at 18. I had common infected behind me. I just dropped the box, popped the pain meds, go grab another pain med, pop it immediately. So we've got substantial health right now. And then I just threw the last of the pipe bomb. I'm like, we got to go back. We got to grab that box. We got to pull that in because there's only one more box left after this. We got to be ready for it. That's about to get scary here. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Hey, it got scary on that same path here coming up soon. I know we're getting on in this video, but giving you all the tips right now. We're getting close to the finish right here. We've been able to kite just about everything on this mission. And now we're doing another loop back around. We're going for the pain pills. We're going to grab another one just in case we need it. Now we don't have any stamina right now, but there is a good large pack behind us. Oh Start to move right here. Boom. Reeker hits me out of nowhere. I thought it was over, but we don't stop. We've got to keep moving. We don't think it's over until it's over. Or we don't know it's over until it's over, so just keep pushing on. As long as you can get those controls, and then boom. A circle strat worked. We're in. We finally got it done. Finally got it done. I'll tell you right now, it's taken way too long to finally get to that point. I don't know how many hours I put in just trying to get those missions done, but that second mission... Like I said before, was the number one hindrance of me even making it to it. The cabin in the woods, the maze, not was not too hard for me. You may have some struggling times with it if you're not too familiar with the maze and just don't know the routes all that well. Could be a good idea to go through on vet, kind of loop through there as much as you can. Try to look at the or memorize the different paths that can possibly spawn from that. It's a good idea to go looking through that. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this helps you out as well. Trust me, this is going to be a real, real pain for you. I mean, arguably, this was harder than everything else, even the armory mission for me. The fact that you have to go through five missions just to get to this checkpoint, and the last mission on this is almost as hard as the armory, if not harder. Especially when it comes to the RNG. If there was hawkers anywhere in that match, or spitters as well, instead of just that stalker, I mean... That mission could have just went fail real quickly, and it had many times before that. Even the ogre just taking me down at certain random moments. But if you got people to work with you, show them this kind of build, or utilize something else that you that is comfortable for you. At least one person, arguably, should be doing this speed build because you you're gonna need somebody being able to move that fast and that long. So I don't really see how you could actually lock down that entire building. You're just going to need to pretty much kite everything. But again, hope this has helped you. I'm glad to finally be done with this. And we'll also be doing the finish up of Act 3 tomorrow. Hopefully we'll finish it tomorrow. But I'll have that up on the Twitch if you'd like to go check that out. Hit the link in the description. I'll have that uh, down there. Come follow me over there. We're, done, we're running Nightmare until we finish it. Also got Vanguard on Friday. And... Pretty sure we'll be finished with Nightmare by that point, but I'll have a, another video for when I finish out the Act 3 on how to get through that, and hope you enjoyed this one, and have a good one, guys.